that is still not the best. Sadness. Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Jamie from Farmanay. So I broke my vaco, as I explained in my super short video last weekend. Um, looks like good news. Uh, it's gonna get repaired. Uh, and uh, tractor is gonna be leaving again next Tuesday. And then uh, coming back, hopefully uh, before the weekend. So I'm looking forward to uh, finishing uh, all the uh, stump removal work. One thing's for sure though, uh, I'll be doing a video when I get the backhoe back of what not to do. <laughs> um, the uh, RL equipment explained to me exactly what happened there. And, um, and uh, even though uh, it shouldn't have happened, uh, you know, a little bit more caution on my part could have uh, probably avoided the situation. It seems, yeah. So today, um, I've got the tree cutting set up here. I'm going to take my saws out. I think what I'm going to do is, I don't know if you can kind of tell here, it's sort of like a, sort of like a tree line here. And uh, I'm basically going to uh, try and continue this road all the way to the uh, neighboring uh, property um, just so I could eventually be able to have a road that goes all around my property and then back and the plan is uh, I want to open a field somewhere in here uh, but first part uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna maybe uh, go for a little walk see what I see and then uh, decide how to proceed yep so I'll go for a little bit of a walk here we came through here with a tractor over family day. Brought uh, my kids that uh, are still at the house for a ride. That was a lot of fun. I got stuck though. <laughs> and then I, uh, as you can see, a little bit of earth was moved here. Just a smidge. That, my friends, is a lot of bloody trees. <laughs> uh yeah we're gonna probably have to make a second wood pile i think what we're gonna do here is uh like i was saying i'm uh let's see if i can get a better angle so i don't know if you guys could tell but right over there is sort of a clearing that's the neighboring property so Sort of like a natural opening here. Fence is, fence is roughly where that tree is. So I think I'm probably gonna start slicing through here. What I should have done
it looks like I killed the battery in my tractor. I left my phone charger plugged into there for too long. <laughs> so, we're trickle charging the tractor. <laughs> Oops. Well, we got her started. Yay. <laughs> so I was able to get uh, tractor started this morning. I ended up killing my battery because I kept my uh, phone charger plugged in <laughs> a little too long. Uh, put the trickle charger on, took a, about an hour and I was able to turn it over. So we're gonna run it a little bit more today. Try to get that battery back, uh, charged back to normal. And uh, now I'm gonna continue skidding trees. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Shout out to uh, Jordan Valdkett. <laughs> the end of the day I didn't take too much footage of what I was doing today it's pretty much the same where I'm stacking logs cutting trees skidding limbing a lot more of the same right now we're standing just at the the end of the first road that I made and um, I'm gonna take for a little walk so I started here on the or yesterday on Saturday and I'll show you where I made it to, to where I made it I'm getting a getting to be a uh, rolled road building machine I'm exhausted it's been a productive but walking in the snow is very strenuous I didn't break anything yet. Yay. <laughs> so all of what you see the road here, I did this weekend. So the idea is eventually I'd like this road to uh, join up to my other field. And then uh, I'd have a uh, full uh, peripheral access to the property, which is super cool. So this goes inward a little bit and you can tell just behind the tractor where you see the clearing there, that's the property line. You can kind of make it out right about there where that clears up. That's the property line there. So I want it to come in a little bit. So I'd say Roughly around this corner, I'm a third into my property from the uh, south side. Huh. Sun just came out, isn't that pretty? So now that I've made it all the way here, I think next weekend, next weekend I'm probably gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Probably focus on this again. Leave the stumps alone in that field for now. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start straightening this out. And uh, I think if I go straight in that direction over there, I will about... 70 yards from my my neighbor so I'm probably gonna cut straight through and uh, go about 50 feet before the property line 
and then uh, the plan is going to be to have a probably a 100 by 200 or yeah 100 by 100 by 200 to start so half an acre field that's the plan east to west so we'll get some good sunlight then once that field's opened up then uh, we're probably going to widen it on this side some some more so yeah so that's the plan we're going to continue in that direction until we're 50 yards from the neighbor then we're going to open up another field and uh that's probably going to be the only two fields i'm going to open up this year um i'll probably you know plan out some more fields in the autumn when uh when the snow is when it's a better time to uh, fell trees so all in all productive weekend um our equipment ran fine um i feel good about everything that i've done here so i'm gonna pack it in and uh go probably try and catch a movie with my wife if uh, everybody uh like this video uh if you like this video uh please subscribe and uh click the notification bell and uh give it a thumbs up and we'll see you all next weekend yep